Welcome to Bear Kid Rides, videos for motorcycle enthusiasts. Got another great review for you today. So let's hurry up, roll that intro, and get into this. So this thing is, it's got some weight to it. I'd say it's about 10 pounds. It's got all this padding and whatnot. It's extremely safe. Great helmet. I absolutely love it. But in the summer, it's this thing's not always ideal on really hot days. Like, I know, oh, you want to be safe, extremely safe, as much as possible. So this is great. But when you're just putting around town doing errands and whatnot, you want, or it's really, really hot. Is I felt like my brain is cooked like an egg in this some days. But sometimes you just need something a little lighter. So the half helmets are great, but many of those helmets make you look like a mushroom. Or, bluntly put it, a dick with ears. And there's no hiding it. So, Crazy Owls created the beanie helmet. So I found a lot of these online that are their novelty or decoration helmets. But this one is actually DOT certified. So it's guaranteed to keep you safe. So let's go over a few of these points that's on their website. They don't, I couldn't find a website. So it's eBay. So I um, cl clicked onto their page. It's the smallest DOT helmet ever made, lightest helmet ever made, and I think I would agree with that with how small this is. Sits low on the head, which is great. Made of fiberglass, designed in Canada. It is made in China though. Um, they're one of the only companies with a helmet this small that is actually DOT certified. It is really easy to put on. It's got clips, just, it's clipped. Take it off, just simply pull it, done. So, it looks great, in my opinion. So, got the different angles. I don't love the way it looks on my head, because I got a big dome. But it's the best looking half shell that I found for my head. But it looks good with riding glasses. So this thing is great. It's lightweight. It's comfortable. It's got some good padding in there. It doesn't. It doesn't when I when it moves on my head a little bit. It doesn't feel like it's scratching. My forehead, which is great, but my biggest complaint about this is that when I'm going 80, 90 miles an hour down the road, the freeway, it doesn't quite want to stay on my head. I'll put it back on because I gotta show you the example. So it sits on my head like this, right? And then the wind goes underneath here and it pulls it back. So it's pulling and I had to tighten this up really good to, so it doesn't pull as far and then so it doesn't pull on my neck. So this helmet is fantastic for running errands around the neighborhood, town, uh, some chill rides, hitting the back country. This thing is absolutely perfect. It's all, like this thing is awesome. I can't tell you how much much more about how much I like it but that one thing where it lifts up off my head and pulls absolutely sucks but for real it is what it is and with the pros though this helmet is definitely worth looking into and this thing goes for uh, on eBay right now $139.99 I think it's worth the money like of course you can find like the German style helmets or any other half shells for significantly less, but the comfort and the style 
and just how good it looks, you're not going to be able to beat it. I'm just giving you my opinion. But anyways, if you're looking for one of these and you're interested, I'll put the link down in the description. Feel free to check them out. And it has the barricade approval. So if you like this content, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing if you haven't already done so. And thank you so much, everybody out there who has supported my channel. What, no matter how small, how big it is, like I appreciate every single one of you. And as always, brothers and sisters, stay safe and ride your ride. Thank you.